I'm, I'm getting my day started with, yesterday was Kentucky. Awesome tech center. And this Indianapolis, or this is, it's Indiana. Awesome education here. This is Carl. You're with a different school, not this one. Yes, I'm with Heritage Hills, North Spencer County School. Carl but you're going to show me, this is like we're just walking in going, okay, we'll see what's around here. So we're going to get a, a tour of, this is a pretty awesome tech center. Yes, it is. So we'll just follow you around. Uh, are you guys in trouble? Do you know your social security? No. Okay. So we have our, it's a downdraft takeoff. I put 26 kids to keep it clean, but, you know, we make sure we get it all cleaned up. So what was your name again? John Snyder. John, I'm Bob. And we're, so we're talking about painting the car at the Flower College next year. Where, so what is the name of the school? It's Southern Indiana Career Tech Center. Southern Indiana Career Tech Center, and I am amazed so far. Look, look at this. This is just the body shop stuff. Yeah, we're, we're dirty, but and you're dirty, you are obviously a tech guy first and not a teacher. Have you got body experience? Or you oh, learned all this as a, a teacher? You know, I grew up in it with my father in their shop, my uncle's shop. Yeah. I'm a little older than you think I am, probably. So, so you went by, first thing, you heard the DA going. You're going, that thing's going too fast. Well, yeah. Well, all you did is walk by, you heard the DA going, it's going yeah. too fast. So we were talking about senses. See, feel, hear. It's all about, and you can tell the machine's working or that thing's buzzing over it. Oh yeah, he was too. Yeah, you, you learn your kids too. I mean, he always runs their level fast. So. You, you, don't learn, you don't learn that in a book. No, they don't. It, we're mostly hands-on. We do book work, but we do a lot of projects. So. I talked to a couple of your students on the way down the big long hallway. I one of the questions: What's the proportion class to getting your dirty, dirty hands? They're pretty excited about being in the shop most of the time. Right. I'm trying to get my confidence level high because I don't like to fail. Well, and this, this is going to be this is going to be a giveaway car. Yeah. That's going to have to go across this. What is it, one o'clock is your award ceremony? One o'clock in the afternoon. So we're so starting lucky with lucky participant of the 50th year Frog Rally okay. will win this car. Okay. So we'll have to bring it back Saturday morning. Okay, as long as um, coordinate that with Mr. Williams because I cannot. Being on the weekends or anything, or whatever. I have. I'm sure you guys have. Yeah, already on board with Mr. Williams and Mr. Overton. On a personal level, is that something you're hate to dump something on somebody to be build a car? Well, to paint, to wet sand paint and kind of. I just have to have the right students. I mean, you obviously out of 26, not everyone. No, no, you'll have two or three maybe. Probably two. Yeah. Two? So I get more than three. It'd you know. be your current juniors you would use next year as your yeah. seniors. Yeah. See, that's why my fine two mine. I already got mine fine two because I have sophomores. Oh, yeah. So I already got sophomores. And I talked to them about this in, uh, in Indianapolis at the Skills USA state competition. They were fired up. Yeah. No, it, I think it'd be a great thing. Yeah. yeah. It'd be good for everybody. Yeah, oh, we're, we're good, good for the school, good tech center, good for the community. Good for the industry. Good industry. for the industry. They're, I need people. They're, they're starving to pay. Well, it's crazy. I need people today. Skills and quality. And I got to go to this level and drive 700 miles to get excited with educating. I'm not going to call you an educator. You're a craftsman who's educating the next generation. That's, that's my only hope. You're going when I'm not here. It is. It and is. I, I will be honest with you. A lot of, like I have 26, and two of the 26 might be. You know, it's just a great deal out of here. That's fine. More than they had. That's yeah. fine. Is they got cognitive thinking abilities. They know how to work their hands. They figure out what they want to do. Yeah. And get some skill sets. Work ethic. What more do you want? Uh, well, Only the productive young tax paying citizens. That's all we can do. That's all we want to do. So you have about how many students in your, your classroom? I have 26 in this class. In this class? Do so you have one class, two classes? Two classes. So you'll have about another 20? I got 20. 26 and 18 seniors. Okay, so out of all those students, how many are going to actually go into the industry? Uh, the 
over the years, I usually have two that go and stay. But now there's more that go on internship. There'll be 12 or 14 go on internship. But two usually stay in. There. So you get two stay. So if you go in as an apprentice, you got any follow up with any of your students? Are, are you like a mentor to your students? Yes, like stay your buddy for they like. They keep in touch. They yeah. Stay, yeah. yeah. Yes, they do. So what's what's like a success rate of somebody that goes into the industry? You got anybody? I do. I have. A student about five years ago graduated out of class and uh, he went to work in a shop and he texted me that he went to base pay commission and he texted me just this summer and said he cracked a hundred thousand dollars salary. So you're, you're saying a student with no college paper, right? Out of your, he's got a diploma from the tech school and whatever you give here. Yes. Five years in, so he's not an apprentice anymore. Five years, no. he's a journeyman. Is making a hundred thousand dollars plus and probably got insurance and things like oh, that. Four hundred one k. Yeah, he's got the whole package. Good. Kids. Working as a, you're not bodyman anymore. You're collision. He's collision you're technician. He's yeah. a collision it's technician. It's a different world. Mm -hmm. Not doing any painting because they have the painters, but he, you know, he repairs, disassembles, reassembles. You know. And he's a probably sought after employee. I mean, yeah, they, he, he would he be does. stolen by another he, company. He, he very well could. Or. I retired, he could take my place. <laughs> well, <laughs> if, if, if public education would get the concept of we need technicians to teach technical skills, yes, and we can teach the teaching skill on top of that. Mm -hmm. He's a good kid. He's done real well. Well, good. That's exciting to hear. And I have so if, if you're a young person hearing that, you get your hands dirty. It's not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. and I have others that keep in touch. Uh, I've got a pretty good report with my past and my point out. Good. Well, if you're, you, Great was, you assured me next year you're going to get a car painted overnight from Friday night, and we're going to take it back to the Frog Follies on Saturday and, and build it. Even if I can drive my daughter in here. All right. She grew up in it with us. That is a commitment I like. Yeah. Deal. All right. All right Thank well, you. Alrighty. So you never know what's going to happen. I'm in the body shop now. We're gonna go through this magic door. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is, I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna get, get introduced to a new, <laughs> it looks like it's virtual gaming. Are we virtual gaming over here? Absolutely. All right, okay. at least I get an answer. You, you got it going on. I'm replacing the drum shoes. Uh, you're replacing drum shoes? Yeah. Awesome. On a big truck? No, it's on a, like an Altima or something. Oh, so that's easy. You don't have to worry about dropping it on your foot then. Absolutely. That big truck stuff, man. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Let's narrow this down. So you're, you're the instructor of, mm. what is your general, what do you instruct? Uh, so my class is, so this is all automotive service. So uh, dual teacher class. So my area that I teach here is for the morning class is steering, suspension, and alignments. Perfect, um, okay. And then for my afternoon class, I teach engine mechanical. So we do an engine, we'll take you back to the engine library in a second. So we just got uh, Toyota two GRFEs torn all the way down to the blocks. And so they're just learning about the four stroke cycle, what all the components are. And so we're gonna be measuring uh, cylinders, we're measuring pistons, fitting rings, because kids always break the oil rings, so we have to refit rings in there. So. Um, that's what my afternoon class does. And then, this uh, is awesome to see. Yeah. I mean, they're all engaged. They're yeah. all doing this. You know, you're not a teacher first. You're an industry guy first. That's so. That's what you tell a teacher. I didn't go to school to be a teacher. I came from Lexus. So I was a Lexus master mechanic, and I came from Lexus. Worked there. I worked a couple years underground. I didn't go to school to be a teacher. Chris didn't go to school to be a teacher. This whole most of the teachers in this building didn't go to school. We just. You just I came. Teach. Yep. You're you're yep. a master of your, yeah. your craft, and then you teach it. Yeah. So this is our engine. This is where we do our engine disassembly and measuring. Oh wow! Look at this. Wow. So we have our measurement tools over here. So we got micrometers, which we haven't gone even over measuring micrometers yet. So what I like to do is come back, have the kids, we go through it, we tear the engine down together, step by step, um, bolt by bolt, we tear it all the way down. And now we're just getting into the lesson. So we're talking about four stroke cycle, the engine bottom in, and then once we get through the engine bottom in lesson, we're gonna do a micrometer lesson. I'm gonna make everybody measure micrometers. The good folks over at 
the Frog Follies, mm -hmm. they convinced me to come back out for one last hurrah. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like, if I'm going to do this, we're going to do the impossible. Yeah. So we want to build a car in two and a half days. So you're a suspension guy, mm -hmm. and you're a motor Putting guy. together a 37 to 41 Ford Spindo with coilover shocks on the back and a thing. Yeah, that should be, I mean... Shouldn't be a, a, an issue, so we should go get it done in a couple. So you, of you guys can build us a chassis on Friday and have it ready. Hopefully, <laughs> Not yeah. hopefully we're going to yeah. run this across the oh, finish yeah. line and, yeah. and give it to somebody on yeah. Sunday afternoon. Well, we'll be there as long as we need to be there to get it done. Oh, that's the that's yeah. attitude I like. Yeah. Get it done. So what about the motor now? Can um, we can we build a motor at the show? So my thing is, it, it just depends on how much you want the students to do versus us doing. I want the students to do everything. Yeah. So it's going to be better if we, and I thought Carl was saying that Jasper was donating an engine. Right. Um, it would be better if an engine was already assembled, ready to go. Okay, just what because, about dressing it up at the show? Um, yeah, I mean, we can do that. But as far as the engine bottom in, the head's already on it. You're talking about just like intake on and, and carburetor on it, right? So, I'm, I'm listening more than okay. saying okay. I want I want you to do the impossible okay but I, I want it to be accomplished yeah um so again the, the students that we have again are just very inexperienced They're, they didn't you know again, a lot of my students right now this is their first area that they've not even held a tool in their hand as we just started getting into lifts so but how pumped yeah. would they be if we go to the show and build a car and two and a half days oh they would love and they it. go yeah, like yeah. whoa yeah yeah no it's absolutely but I think things like the engine probably needs to be already assembled. Okay, so we we'll buy the engine there. painted, yeah. a long block, yeah. painted, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then it shouldn't be a problem, how long do you think, a couple, three hours with the students to put cool valve covers on it and dress yeah. it up a little bit yeah. and mm -hmm. put the plugs in and run it, the wires it all, it all depends on how many students are going to be out there too, right? And so are you going to have, like, I know we'll need a tool list, are you going to have... So if we have a lot of people out there, we're all seeing kind of probably. Well, we like, need we need coordinated teams. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The right like, amount of people yeah, to have the like, right skills. All right, you're going to work on this. You're going to work on this. Exactly. And kind of have a almost a flow chart of it needs to go in this exactly. order, this order, and this order. Exactly. If we have that, it's going to make it a lot easier and a lot more. And successful. as instructors, I would like us to just here's the flow chart. Yeah. Here's what we need to accomplish. Here's the here's the mission. Here's the goals for the yeah. lesson. Whatever. It is. Absolutely. Um, but my students will have. Uh, steering suspension and alignment this year so um, and we do quite a bit of suspension repairing here so as far as assembly they should be capable of doing it. I can get you some assembly drawings and maybe yeah. a video or two and show you what it's pretty yeah not reinventing any we yeah yeah, yeah no. this has been yeah. around so no we're excited about it so well good yeah. good now I, I didn't know where my commitment level was yeah. in Arkansas yeah. We're 47th in the country for a reason, it looks like, and in a country that's not exactly known for the best education. Yeah. This is like a bright spot. Yeah. For me to see what you got going on yeah. here. It's crazy that the, the facility, have you been around the rest of the building no, yet? No, this or? is, this is okay. station two. Okay. I opened a new door and it's like, whoa, yeah. I didn't have no clue this was behind the door yeah. over here. So they pretty much spare no expense in pretty much every class in the building. So next door, there's a diesel classroom as well. You'll be well, impressed by that and then our precision machine shop our welding shop so. well, i asked the folks in the body shop so you you'll have how many students you have 40 50 we have 48 right now 48 so yeah. how many will wind up in the industry do you think it's a pretty low percentage really um so 48 in the morning and then we have 30 in the afternoon okay. um so we do take this is I, I always make a mistake about calling this a junior class it's actually automotive service one but we have five seniors in here but most of them are juniors and they're going to come back next year for automotive service two all my afternoon is seniors but we do take some seniors in the morning so that's why the afternoon is usually lower now do you, you think three or four maybe you'll go into the industry i'd say probably 10 percent or so 10 percent yeah well, that's a pretty good ratio yeah and plus they get the hands-on skills they, yeah if you got cognitive thinking, that's good. And what I always tell all the students when they start in this program anyway, if you get in here and realize this isn't for me, like, the entire school is here. Find out, find something you love to exactly. do. Exactly. Right? I so was telling a story the other day. There's an old saying, train up a child in the way they should go. When they're old, they won't depart from it. I don't believe that means I'm should brainwash a kid to believe the way that yeah. I want them to believe. No, they've been created with a certain set of skills. Yeah. If they can find those and we can help them develop those, that's who you are. Yeah. That's what you do. That's yeah. what you love. It's not a job. It's like, that's who I am. Yeah. So if you find something you're in, that you love doing, then you're going to be happier in life. So 
I mean, you're in high, they're in high school. They don't necessarily know what they're going to do. I know, so I was, the teacher was formerly here. I had him in high school, but it was at the Old North High School. Um, I had, I was going to go to U of E for engineering, and I got in his class and just realized I loved this field. So I talked with my parents about going to UTI, and they're like, well, if you can get any scholarships. And just from this program, I was able to get really high score on the entrance exam and got a free ride to UTI. We do a lot of work for yeah. UTI. So um, that's where I graduated from. And I mean, so I've if your student that. goes out of here, goes to say apprentice in the industry, mm -hmm. what, what can they expect for a job, money wise? Um, it, it, so we always tell students like that. Uh, do, you, do you follow up? Are you a good mentor? Do they think you have students that are still calling you and hanging out? And yeah. <laughs> uh, so I still have a lot of my uh, former students on social media are staying in, and I still get calls, especially about Twitter, unless like, hey, I got this coming in. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, um, especially the ones that stay in the industry. I'm so so the ones that stay in, are they happy? Oh, this is a career. Um, thanks. Yeah, for, yeah, because yeah, they enjoy working on it. Make a good living? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I always tell students it's, it's like anything else. I mean, the harder you work in the automotive field, you're going to make more money because you're flat rate. So if you're not yep. willing to work, then you're not well, going to make any money. Life. So, yeah. You get what you, out yeah. of what you put in. So it's all depending on the student. So are, are they willing to put in the work? But the ones that are, you know, um, so. You're excited, motivated. Yeah. Did you take a, I don't know, I, and I'm, I'm talking too much about money. No. Did you take a pay cut to leave industry to come to education? A big pay cut. A big pay you cut. took a big pay cut. Yeah. Yeah. To invest in the next generation. Say, probably. Thank you. Thank you for that. Probably forty or fifty thousand dollars a year. Now, that being said, I also own a business outside of here. So, being a school teacher, the time I have off, I can spend doing that. As well, so well, I, and my I'd business say, has grown. So I've, you know, a, a I good take teacher, that there. A good teacher is yeah. a calling. Yeah. You're going to teach somebody something somewhere somehow, yeah. whether you get paid or not, yeah. or it could be. You could be an employee here, and you're here for a paycheck and a pension. And it's so, that way in every industry. So my so. business is I own a. I used to be a fighter whenever I was younger as well. So oh, I own MMA. A, yeah. I was like, yeah. yeah. So I'm I glad used, you didn't crush them. So I own an MMA gym, and I've got one guy that was in the UFC. We have three guys that were formerly in the UFC, and I've got some up and coming fighters. So I teach here. I go teach there, and then I also have uh, a couple of drummer shepherds. So. I'm always training them because they do some bike dog, either bike You are the perfect. Well. You can keep so, control of the classroom. Yeah. These kids can get out of control. We're at the school this morning. I feel real good. These kids are going to build a car. And we're going to build gonna it. Happen. It's yeah. going to get done. We're yeah. going to build it right here. Right? Yeah, plenty of. Right in this area. Plenty of teachers to back it up. So. You're, you're not going to be popular next year when they don't have shade to sit on there. Well, we'll just relocate them. We're going to relocate them. Yeah. And it's not my fault, so you're hearing it here first. These are the two responsible for no shade for you next year. But th this looks like the main drag. Look at this. Now, how cool is that? But this is the main drag, I guess. So we'll, be, we'll be right in the middle of the action. You're in the middle. The pressure will be on. We need to make it happen. So what? Lemonade over here. I got my lemonade. That's all right. We're good to go. Drinks and food. What's in there? I see a lot of people going in there. More, more food. More food, food here, food. food there. Pork chops back behind us. All right. Well, cool. If you can't find it here, you aren't going to find it. So. so I feel real good at the school. They were on board. It's happening over there. Yeah, they're excited. So we're, we're going to be able to build a car, and it ain't going to be us old guys. It's going to be some excitement for the next generation, I think. Yeah. So we're, we are looking forward to it. You just talked to one of the employers early that has one of my students working for him. He'll be out there working, too. So I actually forgot about taking it. He'll be here. We may have to say, okay, you're doing it in shifts. You can't. Well, and we do want to, so we're going to try to schedule it as a seminar. And we've been talking about that. So if we're going to work on the breaks between this time and this time, and, and we'll try to break it down that way. So put it on your calendar right now. What's the date for next year? Same weekend? Same weekend. It's always a weekend prior to Labor Day. The weekend prior to Labor Day, 2025, 50th anniversary. It's Spirit Car's 30th anniversary. I've been walking around the show. This is the friendliest people here. And you, you focus on making it friendly and, and just awesome for any participant. It's all about the Rodders. It's all about it the Rodders is. and making it a family friendly. Making it a family friendly event. Because the Rodders bring your kids, bring their grandkids. Try to make I, it economical. 
I have members of the car club that used to be kids that played my activity games. Wow. Yes. As a matter of fact, he is our rod run chairman this year. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So I, I kind of added to the theme for next year's build. We were over at A plus. So it's about it's about passing it to the next generation. We we'll have to come up with some catchy, but they talked about safety. That's a that's a big issue. We need to build a safe car next year and really focus on that. It's fun to be pretty. Yeah, we definitely want to be user friendly and safe. And safe. So we we need to I think focus and and stressing that as we build next year. Because Hoover and Winston's car will be driving hopefully a lot of miles with it. Yeah. So they'll turn key, take off Sunday of next year. And ready to drive home when they yeah. pick it up. Some yes. afternoon. Building a car in two and a half days. I said if we're going to do something, we're going to do something impossible. Yeah. If it's not safe, it's not leaving. So. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that wasn't... He so it would be, it would be I, safe. The way you said that... Cover everybody. The way you said that, okay, I won't question that. <laughs> that's a done deal. You might want to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's in there. No, so that's the priority. So I'm excited. Yeah, Thanks for having us. Thanks for inviting us. I'm, again, I'm, Thanks I'm for coming down. honored. So this is good. Good job. Very good.